All right, guys and gals, it's Ozzy Grimm with the Gamers Grimm. And we are back in Starfield with another custom ship build. As you just saw, this is the Lee Sun Sin. The Lee Sun Sin. Uh, if you didn't already figure it out, this is a Korean inspired build, most notably after the Admiral Yi Sun Sin. Uh, who is very famous as a naval commander and military strategist in the history of Korea. If you have not looked him up, I highly recommend that you do so. He is one of the most badass dudes to have ever existed in the history of all histories. Uh, and he is from Korea, and so I wanted to theme a ship after him. But also, I wanted to also make a ship for Bobby Lee, the comedian, who is also uh, Korean, uh, who is a big fan of Starfield. And so I figured, what the hell, why not make a, a custom ship uh, for him that is modeled after not just Korea, but Admiral Yi, since it is ships and naval combat. Uh, so that is what I did. So let's... Uh, Let's let's get into the ship. Well, first off, make sure that you guys like, subscribe, and share down below. It really helps the channel. Uh, I enjoy making these ships, and I want to continue making them for you for the foreseeable future. So uh, make sure you guys do that. But let's let's go over the ship. It is a Class C a Star Fortress, as you can see. Uh, they are the funnest ships to fly in combat. A little slow, but they're very tanky, and they have lots and lots of cargo. Um, and as you can see with the theme of the ship, uh, I went with the, uh, the colors and uh, inspiration of the South Korean flag and uh, kind of integrated some uh, anime and Gundam themes that uh, while Gundam is more popular in Japan, there are some very good uh, Korean mangas and uh, Gundam animes as well. So I wanted to integrate all of that, as well as uh, some of the elements. Uh, again, if you look up Admiral Yi, he was famous for making these things called turtle ships uh, that just obliterated the Japanese Navy uh, in a way that just would blow your mind. But I wanted to integrate uh, all of those themes and elements into this ship, and uh, I think it really turned out quite beautifully. Uh, more than that, though, because it is a Class C uh, Star Fortress, it gets a really good layout uh, inside the ship, which is one of the best things about this ship, is it's very comfortable with lots and lots of room for you and your crew. Let so like, guess. if you come right in here, you'll come up into a computer's bank, uh, to buff your crew in a, in a two by one. Um, this is the only ladder in the entire build and it just goes down to the docker. Uh, so while that is a kind of an eyesore, you have to have a docker in the ship. And so that is where it goes. And this is just a pass through. But if we go starboard side, you will see that we have a very comfortable uh, living quarters here uh, for you and your crew. And if you go forward on the starboard side, you have yourself a really nice laboratory uh, with your pharmaceutical lab. And you can go directly port from there and it will open up into another living quarters or another two by one, uh, really whatever you wanna make it. Very comfortable, lots of room for your crew. And then forward of that, we have a workshop. And so you have everything you need in this ship and it's all really in a nice compact, yet uh, very comfortable layout. And uh, forward of that, of course, we have a captain's quarters or another crew quarters if you wanted. You could make it into a living quarters. You could make this whatever you want. And that, of course, goes up and into the cockpit. So it is a very comfortable ship, very powerful to fly around. And I think it just looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I love the sort of Gundam uh, look that I gave the ship. Uh, I've been really excited to share this with you since I... Well, since I finally put the final touches on it. Uh, so you guys saw the ship in the preview. I am going to go ahead and head into the ship builder now, and uh, I will show you how you can make this ship for yourself. All right, guys, 
we are here and we are back in the shipbuilder and I have the uh, Lee uh, Sun, Sun, Sun Sin. I always, I always get the Sun and the Sin mixed up. Uh, but we got it pulled apart for the most part here in the shipbuilder uh, down to the base layout of what you will need to do to make this ship work. Uh, so starting at the bottom, we will of course have a NG6 landing bay that will go right there and it will go up and into your uh, two by one that you want to put here. Uh, you can put any two by ones you want here. Uh, the only two by ones that are required are these two Tayo two by ones and that is so you can control uh, where your doors are. Um, but it will go up into this and then of course you will have, have it go down into a storeroom which will go into a uh, docker. Uh, the other docker will not work for some reason. I've tried to get it to work. Uh, there is a docker that you can flip over. I believe it is uh, this one. Yeah, it is the Tayo one. Um, but for some strange reason, it clips into the ground as to where the 100 DP slim docker does not. And I don't believe, well, maybe you could get away. Well, let's, we could try that. We're going to try that we're going to try that mid-build. Um, it can be flipped over. I wonder if it'll let me do it. Yeah, it, I think it will work. I think you could hypothetically do the 110 DP docker from Demos and remove the need for a uh, companion way here. We'll see at the end of the build whether or not that'll work. Um, I was trying different ones to get it to work, and I don't like the idea of a companion way there. So maybe that uh, bottom docker will work from Demos. I knew one or one or two of them flips over, um, but I had given up after a few tries. But moving along, we will have two companion ways to either the left or right and the rear of that two by one. And then you can have any of the uh, two by ones you want here facing backwards. Um, because there's no, no issues with doors. But facing forwards, and this is where I recommend you take uh, put your workshop and your science lab, uh, unless you really like the Tayo uh, living quarters and uh, berths, but uh, I, I really don't like their berths and living quarters unless it's the uh, two by two. But in this case, uh, we need these so that they don't put any doors where we don't want them. We want them to go straight ahead from our uh, living quarter areas here. And then of course you have uh, one, uh, another two by one that faces forward that will connect to your uh, cockpit. Um, as far as gear goes, you will have four of these Acculander uh, 11 landing gears from Stroud Eklund. Uh, you could uh, optionally put the Tayo ones here as well. Uh, I just uh, happen to like these uh, in the way that they colored. Uh, but with these uh, cargo here, uh, you could put the Tayo ones underneath here as well and have uh, more of a flow. Uh, I just happen to like these on this particular build. Um, so that it will be the basic layout uh, of your HABs and your first initial gear. You will, of course, throw your uh, reactor and grav drive uh, in between these two HABs here. The Pinch 8Z is what I'm using, and the SGD 3300 grav drive is what I'm using, and they will snap uh, directly in there with some of them, with part of them hanging below. You have to have the grav drive in the back, and it needs to have the snap points here. So uh, if you use an alternative one, uh, make sure that, the, that it has the snap points here because you need those. Uh, to add additional things to the ship. Um, as far as cargo goes, we've got cargo all over the place. Uh, we'll go over the, uh, the two big ones here, which are the Galleon S202 cargo holds uh, that go there on the belly, uh, just adjacent to your docker on the bottom. But we also have four of these DeGamma 1020 cargo holds uh, that are attached to uh, the landing gear, which is part of the reason that I liked this landing gear over the Tayo one. Um, the Tayo has a snap point, uh, but you know I, I'm a stickler for angles, and so uh, just because I have these angled uh, cargo holds, I wanted to have uh, angles on my uh, landing gear as well. Um, so there is everything on that. I do have a little bit of a, a nose back here, uh, completely optional, just decorative. 
um, but it is there. Uh, we will attach our gas tank. It will attach right like that to your grav drive, just like you see here. Uh, and you can put your uh, Vanguard Bulwark Shield on there. Uh, you will have to probably go with the Van Vanguard Bulwark Shield on this build. Um, while there are plenty of snap points uh, to, to put the assurance on, uh, I think they take away for, it takes away from the look of the ship, and uh, you can hide the Vanguard Bulwark Shield uh, right here on top of your gas tanks, which I really, really like. And uh, we can go ahead and mount the first of, of the engines, and, and this is uh, why you needed, uh, you're going to need this here, is your, your engine's going to go right here. It's going to attach with uh, two Nova Cowling 2LPAs uh, with the Poseidon DT 230 engines. Wonderful engines. Absolutely love the sound of these engines. Uh, not the most powerful Class Cs, uh, but we're not, we're not hurting for cargo even on this ship at uh, 4510 and a max crew of six. So we're good with these. They absolutely just, just annihilate everything. Um, so what we will do is we'll add this top spine here. It's decorative, but it also utilizes uh, some of the snap points that we want. And we're gonna put that, I believe, just like so. Uh, we might be wrong about that. No, we're not wrong. Uh, we're not wrong. It goes on just like that. Uh, to cover up your ears, all your stuff here, but mostly because we want to attach these these really cool back wings that we've created here with the fin and, and the uh, the Nova braking engines. And so you're going to use you know your Demos belly aft, a Demos cowling with a Stroud mid bracer, two Stroud injured bracers A, and uh, then you're going to have yourself a Demos spine A. Uh, attached to a Demos tail A with your Nova braking engines, and it's going to create this really kind of cool effect. It doesn't want to go now. That's freaking funny. Uh, let's see. We can probably, I may have to, it may have decided not to work now. That's absolutely wonderful. Uh, so maybe we have to do a little bit of trickery. Here's what we'll do. We'll go like this. I bet this snaps just fine. And uh, yeah, so what we'll do is we'll do this, and then we'll take this, and then we'll duplicate it up into that, just like so. Uh, I, I don't know why it did. And now this doesn't want to go. Boy, that's just that's just hunky dory. Maybe it's because this is supposed to be a forward one. I bet you that's what it is. I bet you that's what's going on here, kids. This is just being extraordinarily unforgiving today. This was not what was going on. I, the, the latest patch has basically broke all of my builds and it's really starting to aggravate me to no end. See, now that doesn't want to go. That doesn't want to go now. Come on, Bethesda. You really need to stop fixing things that don't need to be fixed. This is not an issue. People duplicating and having fun with their ships is not an issue. But, all right, we'll keep moving along. We'll adjust fire. Uh, they put out a new patch and apparently have made some of the snapping techniques that we builders have been using uh, less effective, I, and I don't know why. I was able to hide that shield underneath there, no problem until today. So, <coughs> boy oh boy. We'll figure out where we're going to put that thing later. So anyway, uh, we will probably go ahead and throw this uh, Nova Cowling on here. It goes just here on the back, as you see. We'll just keep moving along. We'll just adjust fire as we go. Um, and then we have another one here that goes uh, underneath on the front to give us a nice uh, silhouette on the top and bottom of the ship. We can go ahead and uh, snap these other Nova Cowlings on here, just like this. They attach directly to your, your, uh, your, your habs there. And then of course you have the Magellan C1 cockpit that goes just like that. See, I knew that this was off because that's where it's supposed to be. Hmm. I don't know. 
seems kind of funky to me. We'll see. Um, all right, so we'll go into the uh, arms now. So the arms are, uh, we'll go over to the top. We'll do the top. This top is pretty simple. It is two Stroud Cap A's, and then they are connected by three Stroud Cowlings. Um, I used the alternative cowling um, for a reason, uh, and that was because I was following sort of the design of the Korean flag, and uh, you don't have to use these. They will look like that. Or you can use, alternatively, the three-piece uh, that you'll see here. Uh, but if you want to maintain the color scheme that I'm maintaining, that I'm using, uh, you can't use this one. But if you want to save a little more weight, uh, you can switch to this one um, and save a little bit of weight. You can save five mass by switching to that instead of using three of these. But I really wanted to keep the, the sort of theme of the Korean flag. And so that's why I went with those. And so we'll have uh, another one over here that snaps just like this. Um, well, since we can, we'll just go ahead and pop this shield on right there. That's the other alternative that you could use. Um, so here's where things are going to get a little bit tricky. Um, what we want to do is we're going to take uh, uh, one of our, our turrets off. And we'll probably need to take this off. And we're going to need to flip this this one around in order to snap this outward arm on. Um, so, but what you will have is uh, a bunch of Nova cowling. These are all the same piece, just uh, swapped around. And you'll need four of these, as well as the uh, Nova wing here to attach to another Poseidon DT-230 engine. And then I have another uh, one of the Degama 1020 cargo holds snapped to the outside of that. And we do have two of these 200 cm ballast cargo holds. Uh, and then of course my standard PBO 300 Auto Alpha turrets. Um, but you will attach uh, two of the NG50 landing gears uh, to your Nova cowling in these two spots. Uh, you can use uh, the alternate one if you want. I just like the one with the sort of interesting forward-facing engines like you see here. Looks really cool. Um, but what you need to do is you will, you will take this whole setup and you will snap it just like you see here. Um, and then what you will do is you will just duplicate uh... Uh-oh. Why isn't that working? There we go. Being stupid again. You know, it's like I forget how to do this stuff when I'm in a video. So we'll duplicate it. Flip it. There we go. That's what you do is you duplicate it. Flip it. So we do that. And then we'll duplicate. And duplicate. Flip. There you go. Duplicate. Flip. Right. All right. So that is now attached that way. Then we'll duplicate. Duplicate. Flip. And there you go. It's, it's a pain in the butt, but it gives you, uh, it gives you all the attachment points that you want uh, along the outside of the ship like this. Uh, sorry, I am not the best presenter of those things, uh, but this is what we got to do to sort of engage in a little bit of trickery. Let's see if we can do it better on this side than we did on that side. So we'll go ahead and attach it uh, just like you see here. <coughs> oh, goodness, excuse me. And then what you're going to want to do is you'll flip this, then you'll duplicate it and flip it again. There you go. And then flip this one and duplicate it and flip again. There you go. And then we can duplicate it and then flip it. Nope, this one needs to be out phrasing. And then there you go. That way you can have all the attachment points on the outside as well as on the inside. And it gives a sort of a cool and interesting silhouette along the interior line uh, of this outward arm. <laughs> and I do not know what the hell happened here. Uh, this is supposed to be uh, like this, I believe. Uh, did I delete one and not know it? Hmm, that's really starting to aggravate me to no end. Oh, 
that seemed to work and yeah i guess that's how i did it wow and then you can then hide your uh shield underneath here on top of your gas tanks oh well i'm not i try to do my builds as vanilla as possible apparently uh, you just needed to move everything up and then it attaches just fine uh, no problem <laughs> oh the world's a crazy place uh so crazy um so with that little gaff uh, about how you get these wings to work uh, you can see here on the end that's how you do it uh, and doing a little bit of this wonkiness along the side it's mostly a vanilla build but uh, that is the lee sun sin uh, build that i've done uh, i really had a lot of fun doing this build um, and i hope that uh, you guys like it as much as i do uh, so we will see you next time on the gamer screen